All right, folks, we are here for round two of this 8-4 draft in our werewolf deck with no moon mists. Um, opponent won the die roll, chose to play first, and I think we're going to mulligan this hand. It just doesn't do anything. Like, Splinter Fright can't come down, uh, and we need a mountain, and we can't even do anything between, uh, but before turn four, so yeah. And a much better hand here. <clears throat> First turn Pilgrim into whatever. Looks like uh, turn two Villagers. Should be pretty sweet. No Strangle Root guys, please. Oh, he does have it. Okay. That's alrighty. Our three Toughness holds that off quite well. Green, black. So he probably has a spider spawning that we saw. And, uh, yeah. We saw a lot of screeching bats as well, so we have to watch out for that. <clears throat> Boy, if he's taking this long to think, he might not have a good play, but our guy might just flip. Hmm. That's pretty good. Alrighty, what we got? Flare. Interesting. Ooh, drew another good one. Um, gonna go ahead and tack in here. All right, no blocks, and we'll follow it up with a Pyreheart Wolf. Might have wanted to attack with the Pilgrim, um, but I think I need the mana just to play the Fester Hide. All righty, so he's attacking with the old Geist. Um, I'm not going to block here. Like, I don't want to enable Morbid for him, and there's just no reason to. Like, if I blocked with the Pyreheart, they trade, and then he can just kill the Pyreheart. Alright, no spells, so he's probably just going to kill my villagers this turn, which is perfectly fine with me. I'll be able to play uh, the Festerhide Boar. Yep, okay, so he's going to sack the Skurzdag Cultist to kill my Halpak. Good move for me. And then next turn, I'm probably going to play the Mondrone in Shaman. Um, and then just wait a turn and let it flip, because that should be able to blow him out quite well. Again, no blocks here. He could have like a Morkrut more Banshee, and I'd rather him uh, waste his blocker. Like, we still have a healthy cushion of 14 life. Uh, again, no spell from him. Huh. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and attack all out. Because uh, he needs to have, like, Ambush Viper plus Spidery Grasp. Because of the uh, Pyreheart Wolf's ability. I mean, if he has removal, he has removal, so be it. Um, I'm only going to be able to play one spell this turn anyway. And it looks like he didn't play anything, so... That's comforting, to say the least. Uh, again, if he doesn't play anything this turn, <laughs> then uh, our guy gets flipped and huge. So he has mana for, like, Micaeus or Reaper at this point. But he opted to prey upon my Mondronin Shaman. Okay. Ah, okay, so that's the um, morbid creature that he wanted to play. The uh, Hollowhenge Scavenger. Oh, and we drew a pretty sick card. Um, let's see. If I attack here, he just double blocks, though, and trades, which is actually eh, a fine, fine deal by me. If he wants to double block the Pyreheart, I'm okay with that too. Interesting choice. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pump my guy. I'll let him become a two-two, and I'll just play a Splinter, or sorry, uh, yeah, Splinter, Splinter, right? Blah, can't talk. All right, no spells again from him, and let's so we mill the creature, so that's good. Our Fright gets a teeny bit bigger now. And again, I'm just going to swing all out at this point. He's he's obviously shown he doesn't have anything to play, and he has to double block a creature. Alright, so if he wants to double block here, he's taking 9 damage. Yeah, I'm going to go for the the big whammies. I don't think he has a spell. He's been F6-ing. 
awkward if he has tragic slip. That was probably the wrong play. Yeah, definitely should have done it on my other creature, but that's okay. I mean, the Splinter Fright gets bigger by itself. And I still have the Wild Hunger. Yeah, okay, so that was a misplay there. Uh, I called the tragic slip, funny enough, but uh, looks like it didn't matter in the long run. Um, didn't really see anything worth sideboarding in. No, I think we're fine the way we are. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep this list and go to game two. All right, uh, a little bit slow, or not slow, rather, but a little bit awkward, but I'm not going to mulligan this. He showed a few creatures that the Forge Devils can easily take care of. And just on time, we draw a forest, naturally. All right, well, he doesn't have any early drops, so that's okay. Uh, we do have the double mountains for the double Forge Devil. Oh, wow, he keeps passing the turn. Huh. So it looks like he kept a slow hand, which is obviously okay with me. I have werewolves to punish him for it. Yeah, I had to, had to use a tragic slip on my uh, <laughs> Ashmouth Hound. Uh, I'm just going to pass the turn here. He's shown that he doesn't have much... Oh, wow, he f 6 through his turn, apparently. Yeah. Interesting. So this guy's, this guy's playing very fast and very loose. Again, we missed our land drop, but we have so much action going on in our hand that... It's not that big of a deal. Hollowhenge Scavenger without Morbid? Yeah, baby. Alright, drew a land, that's good. Um, so here I'm just going to attack with both. If he blocks the Dark Thicket, I'm going to pump it and then play the Forge Devil. Alright, it's fine by me. I don't mind trading like that. And I still get to keep my hell pack. And this leaves me with a lot of options. I still have a ton of uh, spells in my hand. Death's Crest, okay. Well, that effectively eats up his turn. I'm going to play the Shaman here. And next turn, assuming he, um, he plays a spell, I'm just going to pass and uh, let the Shaman flip. Oh, he might have another. Ooh, Curse of Death's Hold, that's a good one. Yeah, but I'm just going to pass here. Alright, so he just f 6 through his turn again. <laughs> Almost. Alright, so he is effectively dead because I have Wild Hunger. Oh, he played two spells. Um... So he's going to go to 1, he preys upon, I wild hunger to save my guy, and GG. Yeah, this guy was playing very careless, very fast, very loose. Ah, good sport about it, though. Alright, so, pretty, uh, pretty fast games, not much to interact with. Uh, there was that misplay in the last game. I mean, I said it right when it happened, or right before it happened, too. But that's alrighty. Um, looks like we're going to go to the finals with this deck, so I guess uh, we'll bring it back when uh, that round starts.